So, Mike, people have a lot of strong opinions when it comes to entertainment. You know, people often say this artist, you know, they're up their own ass or or whatever, and and they don't know the the real person behind behind them. And the presenters and the artists that you've met through the years, do they have an arrogance about them? And if someone did see see that and thought that's the way I should be when stepping into the entertainment world, what would you say to them? Well, I mean, the answer is there are people that are arrogant, there are people that aren't. I mean, but arrogance and confidence are two different things, and one is often misconstrued for the other. The fact that you're confident, you know what you're doing, uh, you're quite comfortable in your own skin, you do the job well, you know that you do the job well, but you're not the Pharisee in the marketplace shouting about it, saying, aren't I wonderful, you know, look at me. Um, so there is a difference, uh, and people often think confidence is arrogance and it it can be a fine line especially when it comes to journalism i remember doing uh, a meeting with a journalist at langham's in london once and i i phoned him i said look sorry i've been playing tennis do you mind if i'm in my shorts and no uh, and langham's they were fine as well so i walked in didn't know what the journalist looked like uh, and they said oh he's somewhere over there so i walked around the tables looking for someone by themselves eventually found them we chatted and it was fine wrote the piece and it said uh, Mike arrogantly sauntered into the restaurant and strolled around from table to table wanting to be noticed clearly. Well, the answer is I was looking for him because I didn't know what he looked like. There was no hint of arrogance. But after that, for about a year, every interview I did, people said, oh, you're fine really, aren't you? And I said, yeah. They said, oh, we thought you'd be arrogant. And that one article uh, put it out there that, that you were arrogant, and it was nothing like that. In actual fact, I'm, I'm the opposite. I'd be like, I'm sorry, you know. Don't you? Um, but I was just looking for him and just trying to find where he was by walking around the tables, not to be noticed, but people can write whatever they want. I mean, people always say about Simon Cowell, for example, that, you know, oh, he's, he's arrogant, but all he's doing is doing the job that he did in a record company as A&R man, and that was, you brought him songs for Sunita, and you go, don't like that one, quite like that one, I'll hang on to it. That one's definitely not for her. Uh, this middle one, yeah, I'll hang on to it. And he was just straight talking to save wasting your time, everybody else's time, by pretending, uh, like sometimes you get American execs, they go, hey, we love what you do, we love you. And for the next year, you think they love you, but they're just saying it. But Simon just tells it like it is. It's not arrogance, it's just like, no, that's not a very good song. Well, that's a bit arrogant. No, it's not, it's actually just being honest <laughs> and saving your time and so you don't pretend that you're good. Um, but you can still encourage. Um, I, encouragement is part of it. If somebody is not very good, you, c you can still encourage. But yeah, there is a difference between uh, arrogance and, and confidence. Be confident, inspire confidence in other people. Uh, but yeah, don't have a pretense to arrogance. Don't see a star and think, I should behave like that because they do.